Hello everyone. Just wanted to do another quick video about a dream I had a few nights ago. And in the dream, I was looking at a book and the cover of the book was camouflage. And as I was looking at the book, I was trying to figure out what the book was. And when I got close, I realized that the book was a Bible, but the cover of it was camouflage. And then as I was looking at it, just after, after I discovered it was a Bible, it sort of dissolved and faded away and just disappeared. So I generally try to make somewhat of an interpretation of different dreams I've had. And, you know, I welcome any of your comments. But, uh, you know, I believe that there's so much deception in the world right now that it's very difficult to find someone who's preaching the truth. You know, we have preachers and all these different people, you know, like I've mentioned the Pope. He says we're all worshiping the same God. You know, other people saying, oh, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to live righteously. You just have to believe in Jesus. Um, you know, there's really popular music these days, and it's Christian music. And a lot of the churches that um, have some of this music teach some pretty weird doctrines like grave soaking and soaking up the anointing of deceased saints and things like that. Um, I know Hillsong in New York, Carl Lentz, in an interview with Oprah said that uh, Jesus, when he said he's the way, the truth, and the life, said that he was the road marker. And I think it was Oprah that asked him if there's, you know, more than one way to God. Well, I'm sure any Christian and most of us can, you know, know what comes after that. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. And a lot of these people, they, they again say, you know, you just have to believe. But there's so many verses that say otherwise. It is the will of the Lord that we live righteously. That's the will of God. So we're not perfect. Everyone's fallen short. No one's worthy, not one of us. But once you receive Christ, you accept the Lord as your Savior. You're a sinner. You believe in him and you confess that Jesus Christ died for our sins and, you know, all that, you are sanctified until the day of his coming. In other words, you know, you turn from wickedness. You know, God's a righteous judge and, you know, we're to live righteously. I'll just say that. So a couple verses I'll read that I think are applicable um, the first one is to, uh, regarding the camouflage Bible and the fading away and the dream I had. So Amos 8, 11, behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and she'll not find it. And that's a lot of what's going on today. So, again, I always say, seek the Lord for discernment. Draw near to the Lord. He will answer you. you he will provide you direction. The Lord's sheep hear his voice. So another verse I'll read that is applicable. Um, regarding deception, 1 John 2, 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So again, we don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm a sinner. I make mistakes, and when I do, I've mentioned this before, draw near to the Lord. Don't run away ashamed. Draw near to the Lord. He knows your heart. He knows you're sorry. You know, 
for me, I don't want to do anything that is not pleasing to the Lord. I want to seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's what I want to do. So, all right, well, hope this blesses y'all and uh, hope y'all have a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day out here in Colorado. And um, just again, keep praying for the lost. Pray for the people that, you know, are blinded by the enemy. Pray for these people with the fires and the all the things going on, earthquakes and famines and disease and you know uh hurricanes and you know all the things that jesus said were going to happen they're happening so pray that people's eyes would be opened all right god bless you all in the name of jesus christ